everyone, it's Pam at Pink Dragonfly Wings again, and um, I uh, made a video the other day of uh, making background paper for our junk journals, and when I made that video at the end, some of you may notice I had, had a big mess here on my table, and I took a sheet of paper and laid it down on top of it to protect my page. This is the page we made in that video. Actually, I think it goes like this. And I came out with such an awesome sheet of paper. This is what I ended up with. And I wanted to really quickly show you how I did this. And it was an accident. So I'm going to try to repeat it and we'll see if it comes out. Okay. So, what I did, I used these little sheets from Stampin' Up. I had a friend years ago that, that sold Stampin' Up stuff, and I bought these from her. And um, I love using them. I don't know what I'm going to do when they're gone. But anyway, we'll figure that out when it happens. So, I am going to show you how I did this. Now, I have, this little pad here was already wet. And so I'm just going to wet it kind of like I did at that point. And it was wet. And so I'm going to use, let's see, here's some burnt orange. And um, let's try some sepia. And maybe a little green in the center. We're going to make it wet. I took this sheet of paper and laid it down right here. And I left it for a few minutes while I was drying my other stuff. Well, let's see what happens here. So I'm going to dry it for just a minute. Let it see how this works. Put these over here. And who knows what will happen. I'm not going to dry it completely. And I want to pick this up. And that's what we got on the other side. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Okay. We might need just a little bit more water on here. Now, these are not going to be colored really darkly. This, that's not probably proper grammar, but um, they're going to be more subtle colors, but they're awesome colors. Okay. Okay. And then we'll dry it again and what we have. I just thought, oh, I have to show y'all this because it was such a beautiful accident. I was trying to protect the other page that I'd made and just ended up with this beautiful, beautiful page. And I forgot, I did also kind of sop up, you know, you're a southern girl if you use the word sop, but I'm going to sop up some of this on this napkin, and see how that works, and let's 
I did I soft it up because I didn't have quite as much coverage and I used this wet paper towel and went around here that's what gave me these these little markings along in here but I'm not going to do that this time I'm going to leave it and then on this one I just spread some gesso out at random patterns on here uh, just to kind of give it a little more texture so let's see how this works and what we do and how it comes out and it's really cool when you pick this up and you start drying it it makes these little water spots here that are just so cool kind of pulls the the ink up a little bit and it just it's it's just a neat look that happens totally on accident now the thing about it is your paper does get pretty drenched so i'm gonna dry it enough that i can pick it up and you can see both sides of it but I'm going to leave it overnight and let it dry, air dry very thoroughly uh, because it is pretty saturated. Okay, let's see how it looks on this side. Very cool. Look at that spot right there. That is awesome. Just a little spot there. And you, and you just get the subtle, subtle colors on the back because most of the ink went on the front. Uh, when I sopped it the first time, uh, it soaked up most of the ink. So, anyway, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to dry this for a little bit. And I hope that y'all can see the neat thing about this powder. This is uh, the, the Ken Oliver color burst powders and the thing about it is when it runs to the edges it kind of makes a little a little border for you so you don't even really have to ink it if you don't want to it's already got a little border there so of course you can ink it and do what you want to with it that would be fine but it has a, a little automatic border there already so anyway what a beautiful sheet and every time you do it, it's going to be different. So, get you some powders or even alcohol ink or spray inks and try this uh, and, and see. I don't think that it has to be just these. You can make some with spray and put it on here and put it on this page. And then you actually have a, a cool piece for your scrap pile. So that way, no waste, you get to use it all, and you get to have fun, and you get green fingers. How much better can life be? You know? Okay. All right. Well, thanks for sticking around. I know this one is kind of short, but I wanted to, to share with you how to do this. And uh, if, you, if you do this yourself, Please post some pictures so I can see how yours turn out. Um, it's just awesome and cool. So, bye-bye. I'll see you next time. I'm still drying.